Alright, and it looks like they're off to the races. Away we go. Okay, <laughs> now that things are somewhat back in order. Solid start for both players. Got their art up spread rhythm. A few players of this caliber, really the first little bit's going to come down to what kind of RG they get. And of course, Lank's got trolled by Dikembe just, cause, like, just like he thought he would. It's going to be a rough start for him. So Nate's already off to a better start than he was in the first round. Now we get to see how the rest of it's going to pan out. But, oof, yeah, Dikembe definitely decides for some runs. And for someone, for a player like Lanx, it's pretty common to see him go for typical RTA strats like that. Like, just going right in on the first boss, even if the RNG is bad. So, that can definitely turn things into a rough spot, for sure. Nate's going to get the first boss with spread. Lank's still with the pea shooter, but he's done enough low percent runs to know what to do here. <laughs> Great low percent fight there from Lanx. Not too far behind Nate. But even with um, even with Lanx's level of play at this at this early state juncture, it's still going to be Nate's to lose. He has all the resources to be able to pull this off, but losing spread will put him in a rough spot if that ends up being the case. But so far, of course, he's performing exactly as expectations should. And there we have it. Back on equal footing for both players. Right, everybody looks like we're gonna have an extra special guest here on commentary here just momentarily. Is that an AKS either? Hey, what's up, Elrock? Hey there, buddy. How you doing? It is. What's up, man? Uh, I was watching this killer race. Uh, both players are down spread going into base two. So, <clears throat> Lank's losing it in the jungle to Dikembe, and then Nate losing his climbing up the waterfall. So, something of an even, of an oh, even game here. I, I forgot. I was listening so through the uh, RTMP and not the Discord. So, that's weird. There we go. <laughs> there we All have right, it. Be... Yeah, I hear you on time now, not delayed. <laughs> aka yeah, it, real time oh, yeah. it is crazy uh, i mean uh nate did take a death there on three but it is crazy that links uh stuck so close um up until uh you know nate took that death so uh, that just goes to show the caliber of player that uh Lynx is you know not taking anything away from nate but for oh, uh, Lynx to for links to stay so close without the the spread is just ridiculous All right, we're in base uh, two now. Sometimes I say base four because it's you know it's stage four. four. Stage, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember it as the second time I hear this theme song, so that's how I remember it as base two. Right. So you could also call Hangar Jungle Two, I guess. <laughs> the second time yeah. I hear that. 
That's true. Still with the low percent strats for both players. Uh, Nate picks up the R. Blake's well, they both with the they R. both run low percent, so they can do it. Yeah, for sure. Actually, I wasn't aware that uh, Nate ran low, so that's cool. Yeah, he does. Seen, I'm pretty sure. Seen Lanks run it quite a bit. Um, the thing about this, so even if you, you you know, there is an S on the level or the room that Nate was on, he decides to skip it. But the thing is, is the R comes in the room before that. So even if you pick up the S, you, you don't have an R for it. So mm -hmm. I think that's why both these players just said, you know, screw it. I'm just going to keep the, uh, you know, the rifle and go forward. And uh, Lanks, oh, the bubble, I think he's got like one shot left on the left head. Yep. The bubble saved him, uh, well, made him go an extra cycle, but he, he's out of there. Going into uh, Troll Field. Looks like Nate's trying to handle Oh, he had the, the glitch, but uh, he couldn't do anything with it with the uh, rifle. Eats a bubble. Lanks making his way, jumping over the water bottles. The water bottles. <laughs> I guess those do look like water bottles. I never thought about that. Yeah. Hey, Aquafina, yo, have one. <laughs> <laughs> right. Nobody knew that Aquafina sponsored this game. <laughs> Good spread pick up there from Lanx. He's going to pick up the yard to go along with it and wipes the screen. On to the tanks. Lanx has done this thousands of times. I see Nate making his way up. Still got the uh, the rifle, but troll field is not too bad as far as what you got to kill. It's just trolley as far as what comes out randomly. So it should be able to get through here and get up to the yes. Really clean there by Lanks on that uh, tank. So you'll see players jump up in the air and then pull back. And uh, that makes the, the tank stop early. Go ahead and kill it a little bit faster. Ooh, that was close by length, so. Oh, for sure. Gets an excellent boss spawn, though. Makes quick work of that. Yeah, he got the best pattern there, or best spawn. Uh, real close to the door. It's the one you're hoping for, but it seems like every time I get there on decent pace, it's not the one I get. I have to jump away over to the left and then come back. Bullet dodging in energy zone always scares me. <laughs> There's just always. Uh, this so is many energy zone. Boxes. Energy zone is like one of the worst for sure. Oh, he gets fast playing, but he, he dodged it. Got down. I think I'm about two seconds behind you, L Rock. Could be. Nate, uh, you know, not too far behind, but uh, it's going to take something pretty crazy, I would say, for uh, Nate to be able to catch up the lengths. Lengths is number one in the world. Lanks making quick work of JJ there. Move himself on to Hangar. Making light work of JJ there. Yeah, he had an excellent. I, I just watched the. Uh, and uh, Nate coming through. Playback. Ooh, yep, yeah, he was a little slow getting through there. Nice. If you just noticed, Lanks decided to jump over the first claw, which uh, you could stand there and wait for the you know for the first claw to go down, and then that's your cue to run. But he, he you know, he. Such a caliber of player, he said, okay, I'm just going to jump over and go. Getting on that poly cart, making it. <laughs> Looking good through hangar so far. Let's see what kind of pattern uh, Nate gets for JJ here. That's, to me, that's always like one of the most interesting to watch for Contra races. Is, when is uh, Elrock going to run in Contra? Oh, God. The first, first, I had to beat it. I've never beaten this game on the default lives. Elrock muted so. or what now, but... Yeah, I was muted, sorry. I was talking too, and I didn't know I was muted. Um, yeah, I uh, first need to beat this game on the standard default three lives, and then we'll talk about running it. Right, well, once you can do that, you can run it. <laughs> Easy, right? <laughs> I mean, that's what it takes. It's like, if you can beat it without, you know, using the code, you're good. Then you can start learning the, the little things. 
that's the goal. I mean, my goal is always be gonna be like, I just want to beat it by getting spread, not losing it, and then see how I do. Figure out the rest from there. Yep. This is not that bad. So now you're seeing Nate having to take out these spike walls with just the rifle. It, it slows you down a bit. Rough death there, trying to get the B. Oh wow! He yeah. Didn't, he didn't have any resources, but so it, uh, it's it's pretty much a wrap at this point. Like, well, he got he got right you know alien layer he got and... some terrible RNG there. He had uh For sure. you know, trolls all over the cart. So oh yeah, it was real bad. There were three guys just piling onto the vehicle. It wasn't uh that's not gonna be fun for anybody. No. Nate taking another one there. Unfortunate. Lanks, Lanks coming is into the heart. Finish off the, the Falcon for a time of ten forty five. That's the that's the tournament PB so far. So that is a really good the, time. That's the the bar to it's the bar to meet everybody. That's two seconds faster than my PB. <laughs> that that's his race. But yeah, GG to Lynx and GG to Nate. I mean, you know, not a bad showing for sure. Yeah, until the until the first spread loss, he was looking like the favorite for sure. Even against someone like Langs, I was like, wow, he is, like, seriously killing it with spread here. But then, yeah, the the stage three, unfortunately, with the climb. Kind of just set the pace from there. And uh, Nate's going to finish out getting the For B. Sure. Taking out the big enemy that I will not say on this stream what I call it. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not RGL after dark yet, so I'll keep that in the bag. Do the one night only tournament to nighttime. <laughs> well, that would be fitting since, you know, one night only tournament. But... Yeah. OEOT doesn't quite have the same ring to a one evening only tournament. No, it doesn't work. No. Nate's gonna actually finish with a faster time than his previous run in this uh, in this event. <clears throat> the twelve sixteen. We're gonna do a uh, thirty for thirty on ESPN about our one night only tournaments. 